So I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to paint this. We're going to start with the bones and then move on to this sort of fleshy parts on the wings here. So for the first part, for the bones, you're going to need white enamel paint, yellow enamel paint, something to open it with. I'm going to use a screwdriver, um, something to dip into it, and something to put your, somewhere to put your paint. I like to use the box that this came in. Um, and of course some brushes and something to thin your paint down with. So I've got some white spirit there. It looks very nice. So to start off, to get the bone colour, and to get our white open, and our yellow open. I'm going to use, this is a coffee stirrer, just make sure that the paint is nicely mixed. And I'm going to get a tiny, tiny little bit of yellow, because it doesn't take much at all of enamel to change white. Just the tiniest amount. That's going to be the first colour. We're going to get our white. And do the exact same. Take it, stir it around, and for this you want a larger amount. So here we go. Yellow, white. Take a brush. Mix it together. So looking at that, it's quite a dark sort of ivory colour. Mm. Yeah, I think that should do. So I'm going to start off with quite a thick layer. Paint it into the brush there. And just go all over all the bits that are going to be bone coloured. Doesn't matter, you can be as messy as you like for this part. So we can just go over anything else if we make mistakes. Now that first layer is done, these are looking quite skeletony, but quite quite yellow. So we're going to take the part we had before, get a load more white. Let's take that out the side. And then Like Just taking as much of the yellow as we need. Okay, I'm going to get this brush nice and dry. Best way to use it. Um, Best way to get the brush dry is to, to use it on some paper or something. So these spots are kind of perfect because they give you the, the paper at the edge and the plastic in the middle. But use paper and any other plastic will work just as well. I'm just going to lightly brush this over the top. Bring just the smallest amount on the brush and then it. 
See now it's sort of highlighted areas and giving it a little bit more depth. So I think we'll um, do another layer of a slightly brighter white and just slightly build it up with each layer. Just highlight those extra little nooks and things. That's the, uh, the bone effect done now. So uh, now I'm going to move on to the flesh, holding on to the back of these wings. For this I'm going to do almost the exact same thing, but with red and white this time. So I've got a fresh pot. I could have done it with the old pot, but I thought it would be easier to see the colour distinctions if I started the new one. again. Stir this together. Take the smallest amount of red. And then take your white. it together. For our first coat we're going to get this horrible muscular sort of pink colour. I'm going to go for a brush smaller this time. So I'm just going to clean this one off here. Wipe it off on just a rag. And start with a much smaller brush. Because this time I actually have to be careful where I'm painting. flesh sort of goes over the wing a little bit, so I'm just going to try and chase that really delicately. Okay, that's one side finished. Now I've got to do the back and the other wing. Okay, so that's the first layer of that done, and then we're going to do very similar to what we did the first time, and just make a whiter version. Mixing the white into the paint until you get the right colour. 
So I've been a bit too much white in, so I've had to take all of the um, pink that I had before. That was a bit too much pink, so now I need to correct it a little bit with some white. There, and that'll do. This guy just here. Staying on the small brush this time, even though I'm dry brushing. Because I've still got to be delicate as to where this goes, so just gentle small strokes. Just trying to highlight the bumpy areas. Once again, just trying to add depth, not trying to paint. this sort of torn flash effect where you've got the ready pink coming from beneath and then the whiter pink below on top even so you're comparing it to that one it looks much more realistic so now I'm just going to finish off both sides if you put a bit too much on like that, and just turn your brush over with less paint on, and just work it off. So I'll try and average it across the whole skin for that. Yeah. Now I've left a couple of my bits here and here, so I'll need to correct that with some more yellowish paint. I think I'd like to make his teeth stand out a bit more and maybe do this in green. So it looks sort of like a ink poison venom sack. So I'll just do that now. Perfect. And now I'm going to do green here and I'm going to use the same green for his eyes, I think. And a lighter green, but I think I'm going to go with that. the smallest amount. I'm going to start on this, this ink sack. I kind of like that it's mixing in with the bone colour because it sort of adds some transparency to it. It looks like it's sort of inside a sack as opposed to just being green. So I'm happy to paint a little bit of it into it and paint some off of it. Yeah, 
happy with that. And now, finally, for the most difficult one, the eyes. We're just going to get this brush to get the smallest amount on the very, very tip of the brush. Nowhere else. So, that is how much we have. And I'm just going to bring it in the same way we did the teeth, just across the eye. You can't really see it on the camera, but they are definitely now green. I might do a second layer. I've got a tiny little bit on the edge of that because I'm a bit clumsy. So I'm just going to clean my brush, grab some of the white from right at the beginning. Luckily, still dry. And just try and paint out my mistake. Just and it's gone. So there you go. Uh, I'll probably do the the base as well, actually. There we go.